My timer's gone off, so I know the 20 minutes has passed. Let's flow in now to the second part of the meditation, which is to see the roses or whatever object you've placed in front of you. Now take a look at it, but don't just look at the whole object. Look at the parts and see how the individual parts, in this case the individual flowers and leaves, relate to the whole. Look at petals. Don't stare at one thing. Keep looking around. See the dimensions and the depth. This is a three-dimensional object. Leaves, flowers, petals. This is rich enough in detail to look at for five minutes. Meditate on these roses for five minutes. Just see them in their richness. After emerging from meditation, people often find that their inner voice, the stream of consciousness or internal chatter that goes through the mind, that that has been quieted. People often find that their senses are more acute, that sounds are a bit louder, that sights are more vivid. If that's the case with you, then you have succeeded in opening up what Rachel Carson called the disused channels of sensory. Impression. Now life is not a bed of roses, but you can bring the same level of mindful attention that you brought to roses to any object around the house, no matter how prosaic. If this has been your first meditation, this effect of mindfulness may not last very long. But if you practice, and it's common to practice, say, 20 minutes a day, if you do this, over time, there will be some changes that you'll observe, and it will become easier to experience mindfulness, and the effect will last for longer and longer periods.